If you're not wearing a helmet, this will make for a pretty bad day, unless you have a hubding around your neck. Hubding is an airbag that is uh, inside a collar that you wear around your neck. So it works like a replacement of a bicycle helmet. Instead of a regular helmet, which you have on all the time, the hubding will sense when you're in an accident and deploy the airbags. It will be around, wrapped around your head when you're falling, thus saving you. Peter works on the Hovding's algorithms. It's up to him to make sure it's properly collecting data so it knows when to pop. Well, there are many reasons why someone would want a Hovding instead of a regular helmet. So one of, some people like the fact that it's, you wear it around your neck instead of your head, that is very comfortable. Uh, but the main reason is that it's much safer. And at Stanford University, they did a study where they tested this to well, measure how much impact is absorbed when you drop a helmet. And they concluded that the Hovding had around eight times better absorption capacity than a regular helmet. The Hovding has been tested in labs and with stunt riders. But today, Peter's gonna take matters into his own hands to make sure this Hovding correctly logs an accident. So this is the actual guts of the Hovding. It contains a few sensors, which is basically the same sensor that you have in your phone. You probably know that if you, if you look at your phone and then you rotate it, then you'll see that the screen sort of adjusts. That's because it's got a gyroscope inside it that can feel rotation. And the same thing when you move around, some people have step counters in these ones. It's because it's got an accelerometer that can, uh, that can feel the movements up and down when you're walking. The same sensors are in this one, but these ones are used to feel movements of you when you're riding on a bicycle. We also have a microprocessor in here that, uh, that processes the data that the sensors send out. It does this 200 times every second. It, it checks the sensor data, well, do I have an accident? And then it determines whether it should deploy or not. 